G'day everyone and welcome back to the channel. We've got an early morning start today as we're off to Lake Hume chasing trout with downriggers and lead line. So let's go. Jeez, it's early. Okay, before we get this underway, let's talk about Lake Hume for a little bit. So Lake Hume is situated on the Murray River in the beautiful northeast of Victoria. Named after Hamilton Hume, who was one of our early explorers, and it's got a capacity of over 3 million megalitres, which is approximately six Sydney harbours. The lake is a fantastic mixed fishery, so hopefully this morning it'll produce the goods. Well, we've had to swap launching places. Our first port of call was a tad windy. Um, conditions aren't ideal out here at Lake Hume, but um, we'll give it a crack. Because it's frayed, you have to kind of, so you give yourself a bit of slack. Once out on the water, Sandy explained to me the intricacies of down rigging. This is a style of fishing that I've never done before, so I'm interested to find out what the go is. You know, it lines up, because otherwise it can slip out. And now that's what's going to happen. So in a nutshell, down rigging is basically using a very heavy lead weight to get your lure down to a depth that it normally wouldn't be diving to. And by using that heavy weight, you're covering a lot more water and hopefully getting in that zone where those trout are. Now Sandy's pretty handy and he's made these down riggers himself and they work to treat. So we've got our set out, so we've got two down riggers up the front and uh, we've got a flat line to Sandy's right and we've got a lead line to Sandy's left so sort of covering a fair amount of water in these four rods. Now lead lining is exactly what it sounds like it's actually fishing with lead line. Your line has a lead core in it and the more line you let out the deeper it will take your lure down. The sun finally started to show itself, so hopefully this will be a bit of a change in our luck. There you go, you know, little red fin. Gotta wet your hands first. <laughs> little red fin, there we go. And we're on the board. The wind wasn't letting up and conditions, as you can see, were very much not ideal. Given the conditions, we were both wearing life jackets, <laughs> but if you're out on any water, it's a really good idea to wear a life jacket just in case. The things we do for trout, Sandy. Yeah. <laughs> Well, conditions aren't that ideal today. She's, uh, she's fairly rough out here, but um, we've still got the two downriggers in and uh, two lots of lead line this time. We've uh, abandoned the flat line and we're just running parallel with the Bathanga Bridge at the moment. But uh, things are a little bit slow but will persist. Hopefully this uh, lake will flatten off 
in an hour or so and it'll be a little bit more pleasanter conditions. Hang yeah, on. Nah, definitely, Did you see it? yeah, de definitely a hit yeah. there. Now I'm not sure if it was Sandy's camouflage no, attire that anyway. was getting him the fish, but uh, he's on again with number two for the morning. If it's on the, when it's on the slider, you don't feel the weight. Gotta play him out. <laughs> <laughs> the tire of him out, mate. Maybe I need to slow them over. Normally I slow them over, that's the thing with this. Just cut that, that'll be the game, slow it down. There we go. You slow it down so you can, when it's a bigger fish, you know, you're not working against it. Oop, oh, and there off. he goes. No, self-release. Self-release. <laughs> oh, that, that, that will uh, keep it Well, well done, mate. Well, we know they're here. Well, the lake is slowly starting to flatten off a little bit. Um, we've still only got the two fish, one red fin and uh, one trout. So we're just doing another run with this spread of lures that we've got here, and then we're gonna try something else and uh, head across under the bridge and uh, towards the old river course. So the old Murray River course runs through there. So we're gonna try and pick that up and um, and follow that and see how we go. But uh, it, uh, conditions have not been favorable for us. But uh, it's been a good morning. Sandy's there, I don't know if you can see him, but um, he's there, skipper in the craft. Righto, we're starting our run along the edge of the uh, the Thanga Bridge. We're going to hug hug along and uh, send the lures past the pylons, and hopefully we're going to wake something up. It is a little bit more pleasant than what it was earlier this morning. Nah, it's nothing there. And it was about this time it all started to happen. So it come off and must have been snagged and made yeah. a snap and it's a bit of a snap. Oh, oh, oh shit. <laughs> that looks like it might be on. That's a good one. Oh. I don't know. Oh yeah, there's a bit of white there. Yes, there's no no head shakes or anything. I don't know. It felt like it. It feels like there's some weight there, but it doesn't feel unless something's been foul hooked or... No. Oh, yeah. It's a big fish. So, Sandy's getting the net. I've got a fairly decent trout here. It's a cracking trout. It was this time we'd realised that this trout had tangled oh. both lots of lines and we might have been in a bit of trouble. Bit of quick network from Sandy. And she was on the boat. <laughs> That's a cracking fish. It's a good one. He's a ripper. There we go, that's a decent. 
Lake Hume trout. He'd be oh, 50 centimetres. Give him a measure. I've got some measuring thing there. Stick him on the old Sandy's measure. What's that? 55. Is that what it is? Yep. So that's to the end there, that's a zero. Yep. Yeah, 55. 55, so. So this is, you don't, need, you don't want a photo yet? Yeah? yeah, I'll get a photo. So in all that excitement, the uh, one of the other lines is just in one of the worst tangles I reckon I've ever seen. Wow. Well, that wasn't a bad fish, um, but uh, we ended up getting rid of all the tangles we had, but uh, that's part of it when you've got four lines out at all different depths and uh, you get onto a decent fish that uh, wraps around one of them. But uh, anyway, a few uh, line cuts and joins and that, and we're back into it again. What do you reckon, Sandy? Yeah, that's about it, yeah. <laughs> that's part of fishing. Snags and tangles. Prior to coming out, Sandy had plotted a track along the old course of the Murray River. You can see the track with the black lines and the round circles of the waypoints. Unfortunately, due to the wind, we were actually getting blown off the course, but it was picking up the waypoints. So we're currently following the river course of the, the Murray River through the, the Hume Weir. And uh, at this stage, no luck, but there is a few fish on the sounder. So it's just a matter of uh, hopefully dodging the trees with the downriggers and and coming up with the goods. So as you can see behind me, the um, this part of the lake's uh, flattened off um, quite substantially to what it was this morning. So uh, we are currently in search of redfin. So we've. Uh, put our trout gear away and um, we've just been trolling around this area here and Sandy's picked up a couple of small red fins so we thought we'd just uh, anchor up here and and uh, throw a few lures out and see how we go. So Sandy's hooked up again, just reeling mine in, get it out of the way. It's definitely a vicious over it's, <laughs> it's not a car, it could be. I don't think it is though. Oh. Is it yellow. Nice size yellow, mate. Yeah. <laughs> Nice, nice there you go, mate. Thank you very much. Well done. <laughs> Woo. That's all right. Nice, nice pan size red fin. Well, day's come to an end, and uh, we're going to head back to the ramp. We've had a cracking day, and I'd like to thank Sandy or the camo man for allowing me onto his boat and um, showing me a couple of new methods that I haven't tried before in uh, down rigging and lead lining and ended up getting that uh, nice trout. But uh, no doubt we'll be out here again in the next couple of weeks to do it all again. So once again, thanks for watching. See ya.